Welcome to this FMH tip of the day. I'm Jonathan Fry, Support Pro Service Manager for FMH Conveyors. Today we'll be discussing accumulation boards on our accumulating power flexible units. Make sure power is disconnected from the unit before performing any work. The accumulation board is located under the rollers in a small electrical enclosure in each accumulating zone. These boards provide power to the photo eyes for each zone, which are away from the power supply enclosure. They monitor status of the downstream zone, looking to see if the downstream zone is stopped. The board will stop its zone once its photo eyes are blocked. They also provide communication information to the upstream zone, so the upstream zone knows how to react. There are three lights on this board that will allow you to visibly see the state of the board. The red light shows that the zone is stopped by the board. This zone has accumulated full. The amber light is the forward photo eye is blocked. Photo eye that is further away from the power supply board. The green light shows the reverse photo eye is blocked. That's the photo eye that is closer to the power supply board. Photo Photo eyes are NPN wired, therefore they connect and sync the input into sync the input to ground when they are blocked. You can simulate a block photo eye by installing a jumper between the ground terminal and the signal input terminal. Power for the photo eyes comes through the communication cables, which are located here for the each zone. For troubleshooting, uh, one motor will not run, but the downstream motor runs. Open the lid of the accumulation closure next to the motor that is not running. It is the red LED light on. If yes, check the communication cable to the downstream zone. Make sure it is plugged in. If the cable is plugged in, replace the communication cable. Once the cable is replaced, and if the red light remains on, the accumulation board needs to be replaced. If the red light is not on, check the voltage between black and white wires at the motor connection. If the fuse is good, the accumulation board should be replaced. If the fuse is bad, replace the fuse with a one and a quarter amp time delay fuse. If the DC voltage is 45 volt DC, the motor will need to be replaced in that zone. Next troubleshooting tip, if one motor won't stop even if the zone is accumulated. Open the accumulation closure next to the motor that won't stop and power, power up the conveyor. If your red light is on and the motor is still running, the accumulation board needs to be replaced. If the red light is off, make sure the downstream motor is stopped. If flow is away from the power supply enclosure, disconnect the downstream communication cable. If the motor stops, the communication cable or the downstream accumulation card could be bad. If flow is towards the power supply enclosure, run a communication cable from this accumulation board to either the power supply board or another accumulation board, depending on where the issue is occurring on the unit. If the motor doesn't stop, the accumulation board needs to be replaced. Once work is complete, all troubleshooting is done, make sure power is connected back to the unit. Hopefully these few suggestions will allow you to quickly troubleshoot to determine what corrective action needs to take place to get your conveyor back in service. As always, you can contact FMH service at one 844 364 7378 to speak with one of our factory trained service technicians.